hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to share with you how to crochet a maple leaf so to make this i have used single crochet and double crochet stitches and chain stitches and did total 13 round to get this size this is 7 inch in length and width you can use this maple leaf in number of way for your crochet decoration so before we start to make this maple leaf i would request you if you are watching my channel first time please subscribe to my channel so you get to know my more creation and ideas with crochet so let's see how we are going to crochet this maple leaf so to make this i have used size 10 cotton thread from this brand and for this cotton thread i'm going to use crochet hook of size 1.5 mm you will need a stitch marker needle and scissor you can make this leaf with any thread of your choice with size 10 cotton thread the size i get is 7 inch in length and 7 inch in width so take your thread and make a ring here i am going to use a magic ring so once you have a ring in this ring we are going to make 10 single crochet stitches so first make chain one we are not going to count this chain one now make one single crochet then two like this make total 10 single crochet stitches so 10 single crochet stitches if you are working on that magic ring just pull this loose end of the ring to close so this is our chain one skip this chain one take your hook on top of very first single crochet here make one slip stitch and round one is done and we have 10 single crochet stitches now in round number two make chain three so this chain three is going to be count as first double crochet stitch now we are going to work on same stitch here we are going to make one double crochet keep this loose end above your hook so this loose end gets secure while working on these stitches So we have this chain 3 which is our double crochet and second double crochet so two double crochet in one stitch now make chain 3 now work on top of next stitch here we are going to make two double crochet one one more in same stitch with two so in round number two we are going to repeat these stitches make chain three and work in next stitch and on top of that make two double crochet then chain three then two double crochet in next stitch like this repeat these stitches and work till your last stitch and complete round number two so I work till my last stitch and when you reach to the starting chain 3 so at the end make chain 3 take your hook on third stitch of starting chain 3 and top of that make one slip stitch so round number 2 is done we have 20 double crochet stitches and 10 chain 3 space now in round number 3 we are going to start our work from our second double crochet so take your hook on top of next double crochet make one slip stitch now make chain 3 this chain 3 is again going to be count as our first double crochet stitch then in next chain 3 space here we are going to make 2 double crochet so 
so we have three double crochet stitches now make chain three then in same chain three space we are going to make three double crochet stitches now skip next two double crochet stitches and we are going to work on this chain three space so in round number three we are going to work in each chain three space here we are going to make three double crochets chain three and three double crochet so take your hook in this chain three space make three double crochets then chain three then in same space again we are going to make three double crochet so in round number three we are going to repeat this stitches work in to the next chain three space make three double crochets chain three and three double crochet then skip next two double crochet work in next chain three space make three double crochets chain three and three double crochet like this repeat this stitches and work till your last chain three space and when you reach to the starting chain three top of that make one slip stitch and complete round number three so round number three is done and now we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten chain 3 space and 3 3 double crochets stitches in between this chain 3 space and total 10 pointers in round number 4 we are going to start our work from this third double crochet so take your hook top up next two double crochet and make one one slip stitch now make chain 3 this is our first double crochet now take your hook in next chain 3 space so again in round number 4 we are going to work in this chain 3 space now take your hook in next chain 3 space here we are going to make 3 double crochet stitches so we have total 4 double crochet stitches now make chain 3 now in same chain 3 space we are going to make 3 double crochet now take your hook on top of next double crochet stitch here make 1 double crochet So here we have total 4 double crochets, 3 in chain 3 space and 1 on top of next double crochet stitch and chain 3 space. So we are going to work on this double crochet stitch before this chain 3 space. So here take your hook and top of that make 1 double crochet here. then work in this chain 3 space and we are going to make 3 double crochet then chain 3 then 3 double crochet in this chain 3 space on top of next double crochet and here make one double crochet so in round number four we are going to repeat this stitches we are going to work to the last double crochet before this chain three space top of that we are going to make one double crochet then work in this chain three space make three double crochets then make chain three then work on next double crochet after this chain 3 to the left side here top of that make one double crochet so 
you will have total four double crochets chain three and four double crochets out of which we are going to make one one double crochets top of this last double crochet to the right side and first double crochet to the left side before this chain three space we are going to work on top of this two double crochets and here we are going to make one one double crochet and on this chain three space we are going to make three double crochets chain three and three double crochet so like this we are going to repeat this stitches and going to work till our last chain three space and last double crochet and when you reach to the starting chain three top of that make one slip stitch and complete round number four so round number four is done now in round number five take your hook on top of next double crochet here make one slip stitch then take your hook on top of next stitch here make one slip stitch so we are going to start our work from our third double crochet from the right side so this is our third double crochet now make chain three this is our first double crochet now take your hook on top of next double crochet here make one double crochet so in our previous round we made one double crochet top of our last double crochet here you can see this is our chain three now in round number five we are going to make two double crochets on last two double crochets to the right side before this chain three now take your hook in this chain three space and here we are going to make three double crochets so now we have total five double crochet stitches now make chain three now work again in this chain three space make three double crochets So after three double crochet stitches now we are going to work to the next two double crochet stitches to the left side so one and two and top of that we are going to make one one double crochet so now we have total Five double crochets chain three and five double crochet so in round number five we are going to repeat this stitches we are going to work on top of next two double crochet stitches before this chain three space to the right side and top of that make one one double crochet After two double crochet work in this chain three space and make three double crochet so we have total five double crochet stitches then make chain three then in same chain three space make three double crochets after three double crochet now we are going to work on top of next two double crochet stitches to the left side here and top of that make one one double crochet so we have total five double crochet two on next two double crochets and three on this chain three space so in round number five we are going to repeat this stitches work on top of next two double crochet stitches before this chain three space to the right side and top of that make two double crochets then work on this chain three space make three double crochets chain three and three double crochet then work two double crochets top of next two stitches to the left side and top of that make one one double crochet so you will have total five double crochets chain three and five double crochet so in round number five like this we are going to repeat this stitches 
and this time we are going to repeat this stitches till this last two double crochet we are going to skip this segment so i'm going to place the marker here so we are going to skip this last segment of our work we are we are not going to work on this part we are just going to work on last two double crochet stitches before this segment so just repeat these stitches and work till this last two double crochet stitch so round number five is done and you can see we have left this our last segment unworked now round number six turn your work top of next two double crochets make one one slip stitch then top of next double crochet so we are going to start our work from the third double crochets to the right side so top of that make one slip stitch now make chain three this is going to be count as our first double crochet then work on top of next two double crochets and top of that make one one double crochet stitch so we have three double crochet now work again in this chain three space make three double crochets chain three and three double crochet then work on top of next three double crochets to the left side so one two and three top of that make one one double crochet So we have total six double crochets chain three and six double crochet now work on top of next three double crochets before this chain three space to the right side so one two and three and top of that make sure one one double crochet After three double crochet work in this chain three space make three double crochets so we have total six double crochet three in this chain three space and three on top of this three double crochets to the right side now make chain three then in same chain three space make three double crochet then work on top of next three double crochets to the left side and make one one double crochet so we will have six double crochet stitches and in round number six we are going to repeat this stitches work on top of next three double crochet stitch to the right side before this chain three space and top of that make three double crochet then work on this chain three space make three double crochet chain three and three double crochet then work on top of next three double crochet stitches to the left side after this chain three space and top of that make three double crochet so you will have six double crochets chain three and six double crochet like this repeat this stitches and work till your last double crochet stitch and complete round number six so i worked till this last double crochet stitch and round number six is done now in round number seven we are going to skip this first segment to the right side this one and the last segment to the left side so here till this last four double crochet stitches to this side we are going to work so what you have to do turn your work and now we are going to work 
one one slip stitch ends top of each stitch to this segment so take your hook top of first stitch here make one slip stitch then on next one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen stitches make one one slip stitch So by that we have skipped this segment to our right side. Now work on top of next 3 stitches 1, 2, 3 and top of that make 1, 1 slip stitch. So we are going to start our work from the 4th double crochet to the right side before this chain 3 space so 1 2 3 and 4 and we are going to start around number 7 so make chain 3 this is our first double crochet now work on top of next 3 stitches 1 2 and 3 and top of that make 1 1 double crochet So we have total 4 double crochet stitches. Now we come to this chain 3 space. Here we are going to make 3 double crochet. So we have total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 double crochet stitches. Now make chain 3. And this same chain 3 space, we are going to make 3 double crochet. Then work on top of next 4 stitches 1, 2, 3, and 4 to the left side, and top of that, make 1 1 double crochet. So we have 7 double crochet, chain 3 and 7 double crochet stitches. Now work on 4th double crochet stitches before this chain 3 space to the right side. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. So top of this 4th stitch, take your hook, make 1 double crochet. Then on next 3 stitch, make 1, 1 double crochet. After 4 double crochet, work in this chain 3 space, make 3 double crochet. So, total 7 double crochet stitches, then make chain 3. Then in same chain 3 space, make 3 double crochet. After 3 double crochet, work on top of next 4 stitch to the left side and top of that make 1 1 double crochet. So we have total 7 double crochets to the right side, chain 3 and 7 double crochet to the left side. And in round number 7, we are going to repeat this stitch work on fourth stitch to the right side top of next four stitch make one one double crochet then work in this chain three space make three double crochet chain three and three double crochet then work to the next four stitches to the left side and make four double crochet so total seven double crochet chain three and seven double crochet like this repeat this stitches and we are going to skip our last segment here to the 
left side so I just place the marker on my last fourth stitch before this segment and I'm going to work and we are going to work till this last fourth double crochet stitch and we are going to repeat this stitch and complete round number seven so round number seven is done and we left this two segments to the right and left side now in round number eight round number eight turn your work and top of next three stitch one two and three make one one slip stitch so after three slip stitches we come on top of next double crochet which is fifth double crochet to the right side one two three four and fifth so we are going to start our work from the fifth double crochet make chain three this is our first double crochet then work in next four stitch top of that make one one double crochet So now we have total five double crochet stitches then work in this chain three space make three double crochet after three double crochet make chain three then in same chain three space make three double crochet after three double crochet work on top of next five stitch to the left side and make one one double crochet so we have total eight double crochet stitches chain three space and eight double crochet so five double crochet on right side and left side and three three double crochet in this chain three space and in round number eight we are going to repeat this stitches work on top of next five stitch to the right side before this chain three space make one one double crochet so total five double crochets after five double crochet work in this chain three space here make three double crochet in after three double crochet make chain three then in same chain three space make three double crochet After three double crochet work to the left side and on top of next five stitch make one one double crochet then round number eight we are going to repeat this stitches work on next five stitch to the left side to the right side before this chain three space and top of that we are going to make five double crochet then work into this chain three space make three double crochet chain three and three double crochet then work on top of next five stitch to the left side and top of that make one one double crochet like this repeat this stitches and work till your last double crochet stitch and complete round number eight so round number eight is done now in our next round which is round number nine we are going to skip our third segment so this was our first segment second third four five six seven eight nine ten so we have total ten segments now we are going to skip our third segment to the left side and the ninth segment to the right side 
so three four five six seven eight nine so we are going to skip this two segments to the left and right side so in round number nine turn your work take your hook on top of first stitch here make one slip stitch and we are going to make one one slip stitches on top of each stitch on this segment until this last double crochet stitch So we made one one slip stitches on top of each stitch now we come to our next segment here top of next stitch make one slip stitch then on next stitch make one slip stitch and we are going to start our work from the seventh double crochet to the right side so one two three four five six and seven so top of seventh stitch make chain three this is our first double crochet then work on top of next is six stitch and top of that make one one double crochet we have total seven double crochet now work in this chain three space make three double crochets So we have total 10 double crochet now make chain 3 now work in same chain 3 space make 3 double crochet after 3 double crochet work on top of next 7 stitches to the left side and top of that make 1 1 double crochet here we have 10 double crochets chain 3 and 10 double crochet stitches so in round number 9 we are going to repeat this stitches work on top of next 7 stitch to the right side before this chain 3 space make 1 1 double crochet So after seven double crochet when you reach to this chain three space here make three double crochet chain three and three double crochet then work to the left side of your work and in next seven stitch top of that make one one double crochet So in round number 9 we are going to repeat this stitch and work on top of next 7 stitches to the right side before this chain 3 space top of that make 1 1 single cro 1 1 double crochet then work on this chain 3 space make 3 double crochet chain 3 and 3 double crochet then work on top of next 7 stitches to the left side and top of that make 1 1 double crochet and like this repeat these stitches and work till your last seventh stitch before this ninth segment so i'm going to place the marker here so we are going to skip 
this third segment so this is our ninth segment to the left side so we are going to skip this segment and we are going to work till this last seventh double crochet stitch to the left side and we are going to complete round number nine so round number nine is done and i have worked till my last seventh double crochet and skipped this segment now in round number 10 turn your work on top of next two stitch make one one slip stitches so this is the eighth double crochet from the right side before this chain three space so we are going to start our work from this double crochet here make chain three this is our first double crochet then work on top of next seven stitches and top of that make one one double crochet we have total eight double crochet stitches now work in this chain three space make three double crochet after three double crochet make chain three and then same chain three space make three double crochet after three double crochet work on top of next stitch eight stitches to the left side and top of that make one one double crochet so we have 11 double crochet stitches chain 3 and 11 double crochet stitches and in round number 10 we are going to repeat this stitch work on top of next 8 stitches to the right side and top of that make 1 1 double crochet stitches After 8 double crochet, work in this chain 3 space, make 3 double crochet, chain 3 and 3 double crochet. After 3 double crochet chain 3 and 3 double crochet work in next 8 stitches to the left side and top of that make 1 1 double crochet so in round number 10 we are going to repeat this stitches work in next 8 stitches before this chain 3 space count the 8 stitches and work from 8th stitch make 1 1 double crochet then work on this chain 3 space make 3 double crochet chain 3 and 3 double crochet then work on top of next 8 stitches to the left side and top of that make 1 1 double crochet like this repeat this stitches and work till your last chain 3 space here and complete round number 10 so round number 10 is done now in round number 11 again we are going to skip two segments to the right and left side so this is our last segment so 1 2 3 and 4 so we are going to skip this fourth segment to the left side and in the eighth segment to the right side to fifth six seven eight turn your work and we are going to make one one slip stitches top of each 
connected to this part. So we had worked one one slip stitches. So by that we skipped our fourth segment from to the left side. Now work on top of next two stitch and top of that make one one single slip stitch. Then work on next stitch. Top of that make one slip stitch and we are going to work. We are going to start our round number 11 from our ninth double crochet stitch before this chain 3 space to the right side make chain 3 then walk in next 8 stitches and top of that make 1 1 double crochet So we have total 9 double crochet stitches. Now work in this chain 3 space, make 3 double crochet. Now make chain 3. Work in this chain 3 space, make 3 double crochets. After 3 double crochet, now work in next 9 stitches and top of that make 1 1 double crochet. So we have total 12 double crochets to the right side, chain 3 and 12 double crochet to the left side. So in round number 11, we are going to repeat these stitches. Work on top of next 9 stitches before this chain 3 space, count 9 stitches. On top of that, make 1 1 double crochet. After 9 double crochet, work in this chain 3 space, make 3 double crochets. After 3 double crochet, work chain 3. Then in same chain 3 space, make 3 double crochet. Then work on top of next 9 stitches to the left side and top of that make 1 1 double crochet. So 
so again 12 double crochet chain 3 and 12 double crochet stitches like this in round number 11 we are going to repeat this stitch and work on top of next 9 stitch before this chain 3 space make 1 1 double crochet work on this chain 3 space make 3 double crochet chain 3 and 3 double crochet then work in next 9 stitches to the left side on top of that make 1 1 double crochet so you will have 12 double crochet chain 3 and 12 double crochet stitches like this repeat these stitches one more time and we are going to skip our eighth segment so this part we are going to skip so i'm going to place the marker so we'll get to know till this space i'm going to work so i'm going to finish till this end so round number 11 is done now in round number 12 turn your work now work on top of next one two and three stitch make one one slip stitch so this is our tenth stitch before this chain three space one two three four five six seven eight nine and tenth so we are going to start our round number 12 with tenth stitch make chain three this is our first double crochet then work on top of next nine stitches make one one double crochet Ten double crochet stitches now we come to this chain three space here we are going to make three double crochet now make chain three and same chain three space make three double crochet then work in next 10 stitches to the left side and top of that make one one double crochet So in round number 12 we are going to repeat these stitches work in next 10 stitches count the 10 stitches from this chain 3 space and start your work from the 10th stitch make one one double crochet then work on this chain 3 space make three double crochet chain three and three double crochet then work on top of next 10 stitches to the left side and top of that make one one double crochet so you will have 13 double crochet chain 3 and 13 double crochet like this like this repeat these stitches and work till this last chain 3 space till here so i'm going to complete round number 12 so round number 12 is done now in next round which is round number 13 we are going to skip our segment fifth and seventh so we are going to skip this two segments to the right and left side and we are going to work only to the center segment so again turn your work and make one one slip stitches until this double crochet stitch to skip this part
so we made one one slip stitches and now come to the center segment here so we are going to work on this segment and on number 13 top of next two stitch make one one slip stitch then on next stitch which is your 11th double crochet from the this chain 3 space so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so top of 11th double crochet make one slip stitch and from 11th double crochet we are going to start our round number 13 make chain 3 then work in next 10 stitches top of that make one one double crochet So we have 11 double crochet stitches work in this chain 3 space make 3 double crochet so we have total 14 double crochet stitches now make chain 3 work in this chain 3 space make 3 double crochet Then work in next 11 stitches and top of that make one one double crochet So we have total 14 double crochets, chain 3 and 14 double crochet. Now make 2 slip stitches in next 2 stitch. Pull this thread and cut with some margin. So round number 13 is done and our leaf is complete. If you want you can use this leaf like this only. Here I made this stamp. So what you have to do. So this is our first segment here we are going to attach the thread so top of first double crochet attach the thread now make chain 10 After chain 10, skip first chain stitch, work in next 9 stitches, make one one single crochet. So after 9 single crochet, now take your hook, top of next double crochet, so this is our chain 3 space, this is our next double crochet, top of that make 1 single crochet, then next stitch make 1 slip stitch, now cut and secure the thread, so this maple leaf is done, if you want you can start this maple leaf, so here I start this maple leaf so it get a stiffness so i will share you the product which i have used for the starch i hope you have learned from this video if you have any questions or query please do let me know in the comment section so see you in my next video till then bye bye take care